from this through this to this. Done and done. Finally made my sleep platform with some help and I learned a lot. We are taking it easy this weekend and staying home to finish up the platform that I've been procrastinating for a long time. It's no longer 40 degrees, uh, but we are still sunny and warm, hot outside. I really want to find a lake again to get some paddleboarding done and get some swimming, but this past week I've got myself a pretty good third degree burn. Um, if you are on my Patreon, you've already known on the day of that I posted a picture of my wound which is like getting worse and worse day by day um, but it's a little graphic and a little gross I probably won't put it on this platform but yeah if you're on patreon you would already know all of my little daily uh, updates are on there uh, so technically I should try to stay out of the water and that's why also I'm in sort of a skirt just to air out the wound a little give me a kind of forced downtime to finish up what i've been saying that i will do and just haven't been getting to it because my current setup i can sort of live with i may mean, actually show you what i have right now so right now uh i haven't fully unpacked from before but um i sleep on this side which is my passenger side um left the left side and my seat fell down to about the same height as my drawers. I just lay this whole... Um, so I just lay this whole thing over and sleeping bag on top and I sleep on this side. The other side I've already kind of shown you guys in one of my previous videos that I could sit in here and talk. But normally I will have my water jug sitting here which is the same height, lay on the same height as my uh, drawers again so I've been just using that as a platform and haven't really gone around to make a proper one uh, I kept the single seat on that side and so this side have a single seat and this side's got the two-seater one uh, I took this out but right now I'm thinking maybe I should just make the whole platform and take that one out too so to take this off I just need to flip it up and we just need to get these two bolts out those are 14 just like a little hook, so give it a gentle pull, and you're out. Okay, don't knock the camera. So essentially what I plan to do is to reuse these uh, holes to make a bracket that comes up. And instead of bolting onto the platform on top, it will just support it. And when I lift the platform up, these stay in place. Otherwise, if the legs are bolted to the platform, it, the whole thing lift up like this and it might not have enough space. And then we'll hinge it on this side. So I'm gonna be using an old tabletop. This is basically a 5 8 um, The width is about the same as what I was going to use, 47 inch, and then I'll need to cut it for the length of 30. Um, Maybe I'll split it in half just so in the future if I want to put, I don't know, one seat up, I can still manage to have half a shelf and half a seat. Your plugs in. 38 and a half. So in order to get 30, I will need to get eight and a half out. Because I'm building on top of an already built drawer, there is no uh, ledge for the platform to sit on to support it. Otherwise, if you're building it yourself, obviously make this 
wider to come out here. An easier solution is just to support it with multiple support beam like that. So this wooden support beam method did not work. I still want to share the thought process and the problem that I encountered along the way. I back out the drawers to scoot the wood support in the drawers back wall. So the screws come out from the inside of the wall. Then the drawers can't close anymore. This set of drawers maximized the space and left no room between the back of the drawer itself and its back wall. It seems like we need to make some brackets out of metal. So I called for help. So I was stuck at a point where I need to make the bracket or support for the platform along my drawer side. Struggled for a bit and then figured I probably should just get a 90 degree angle and then bolt it from both sides where it actually comes out where I can bolt things into it where there's no drawer. Otherwise, if anything bolted into the back of the drawer, the drawer won't close. Um, so I came to a friend's shop and then try to use these machines that I have no idea what I'm doing, but just to cut a angle to width. All right, so test fitting it. Um, that's the angle that we just made with the two holes drilled out. And we're just going to punch it to leave a mark right now and then I'll bring it home to paint it overnight. So with this ledge, right now I can sit the platform on top of it and it should hold firm with the whole thing. bracket so we can make a bracket that comes up straight to support the platform in the front end of it like so so the front support legs are done now all I need to do is trying to find that if they're uh, even all I need to do is to try to think of how to connect these two because my platform here is going to be shorter than the distance between these two and I'll need at least two points to support it. It can't just lean on one. So basically the general idea is on that side it will be like a fence like. Might need to just weld these together. Um, so when that piece lean on, I can lean on, on it. <laughs> Should be well and then we grind that flat and then we should be good for tonight yeah i just need to paint everything tomorrow and wait for the carpet to come in and i'm done only took a couple more days than i thought it would be result from last night we got the front support brackets and the back support bracket done. It's going to take everything out so we can get them painted. 
So basically you can see where we grinded this down a little thinner so it can still catch back into the notch in the OEM seat. Um, give it a little bit more stability. So one thing I forgot to mention is that we have to notch more of this opening in the bottom of this bracket just so it can clear my bolt in the drawer. Um, there's like bolts there, here, and on that end. Because um, when I just put it in, it sort of like wants to tilt this way because the bolts are in there. the surface for gluing the carpet. I'm just going to use some mineral spirit, same as how you would cleaning other wood. Hope it works on this sort of surface because it's already finished. I could leave it as a blank uh, tabletop, but it's better to have a layer of carpet so it's like, so it's not that hard and creates a bit of friction so my things don't fly around too much. I use spray glue to attach the carpet to the board. Spray the first layer on the carpet, let dry a bit while spraying the board, then spray the second layer on the carpet and stack them together. I started with 3M77 spray glue, but it ran out. <laughs> it was already pretty late, but my friend was able to get me a bottle of 3M90 so I can finish the carpet tonight. And turns out the 90 works so much better with thicker spray and stronger bond. I left the pieces with clamps as if waiting for wood glue to dry. Don't think it's necessary, but I'm going to sleep anyways. All right, platforms all glued up and let's have them mounted and see if it's going to work. Moment of truth. One will be sitting here. Oh God, it's hot. Okay, it's hot. drill it in and then the, the screw just kept like just kept dragging on the seam and it's like taking some carpet out and it's not wanting to come out now it's so annoying this is freaking annoying yeah all of these just went there um let's see if i can move a spot if that'll work <laughs> I guess the trick here is to press it down hard and give it a quick trigger. Otherwise it's just it's not penetrating the wood and it's just spiraling this carpet. Whew. Done and done. Back to recovery gear. Okay, so there is one miscalculation because originally I wanted to be able to originally I wanted to be able to flip the whole board over, but I didn't clear the handle there. It's a little too wide. I can notch out this little corner in the future. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, so dumb. So dumb. Alright, there you go. I just uh load it. The bedding. Yeah, I reckon it looks pretty decent. So, here's my sleeping platform. Inch it, inch it, inch it. The spot, ow, ow. Okay, that hurts. Oof. Ow. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!